Yeah. I bring some. All right, Shalom, brothers. First and foremost, we're going to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Chakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone who really teach well. And salutations too to the brothers that are pushing out this word in truth and in sincerity. All right, we're the brothers from uh, GMS Chicago coming at you with another lesson. All right, and in this video, you know, we're going to go into uh, the topic of how the Spirit of the Lord is being pushed more, uh, uh, is being known more and more in this world. Like truth is starting to come out, you know, uh, lies are being exposed. You know, and people are, are starting to know who Esau Edom is, man, you know, um, you know, and, you know, we made plenty of videos on that, you know, uh, proving that Esau Edom is a self-proclaimed white man, you know, and he's being exposed on all levels, man, you know, for being uh, the corrupt devil that he is, man, you know, the, the deceiver, you know, in the world, man. All right. And that's the way that the Bible describes him. All right. I have a preacher for you. Oh, for sure. This is the book of... Uh... Second Thessalonians. Perfect. Start the top. This thing just changed on me. It's a lot. Here you go. Second Thessalonians. Two. I'm gonna start on top. Yeah. Okay. Second Thessalonians two. I'm gonna read down to verse eight. All right. That's the that's the point I want to get. Second Thessalonians two verse one. It says. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Yahushua Mashiach, and by the, and by our gathering together unto them, that ye be not soon shaken in mind, or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter as from us, as that the day of Mashiach is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day should not come, except there come a fallen away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Right. So that uh, day is not going to come uh, without the great falling away, which already happened, man. All right. We went into captivity. We forgot who we were. All right. But the next part was that the son of man, uh, so, uh, the son of perdition be revealed, man. Mm -hmm. All right. And that's the, that's this is prophecy, man. As we're getting closer and closer to the end, you know, this devil's being exposed uh, for what he is, man. You know, you had the, the, the big, uh, the short. With that was going on with uh, GameStop, you know, people are, are, are starting to realize that the elites are really the ones in control of the market, man. That it's not a, the, the free market, as they would like to call it, man. You know, so this is the place where the rich continue to get rich while they continue to make the people poor and more poor, man. This is the, uh, this is the, uh, the oppressive city, man. All right? That's right. And, and, and that's why you got all these revolts, you know, these protests. Going out across the world, and we're gonna see that more and more, man. According to uh, Second Ezra 15, man. All right, you gonna come to time when people are just not gonna give any shits, man. You know, and they they're gonna uh, um, there's gonna be uh, wars in these streets, man. There's gonna be riots in these streets, man. Lawless, lawlessness, lawlessness, yeah. water. You know, huh? A part of this man's fall is a division between themselves, right? You saw coming against his own. That's right. But kind of verse four says who. Second, Second Thessalonians 2 and 4 says, Who opposeth and exalted himself above all that is called God, or that is worship, so that he as God sit in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. And that's one of the revelations too. That's a, a clear uh, a hint on who this son of perdition is. Who, who has set himself up to be as God? All right. Who painted himself as the image of God? All right. All you got to do is go on Google and, and search up Jesus or search up God. And, and it's going to show you what race of people have put in, put themselves like that. All right. In the book of Malachi 1 and 4, uh, it, uh, it puts it very clear to you that the Lord has a whole people whom he has indignation for forever, man. And wherever his, their territories are going to be, is going to be a border of wickedness, man. All right. And, and, and deception like that uh, false image, man. The Bible clearly tells us. You know how that the Lord had a brown skin, dark brown skin, all right. But yet they still have the audacity to pay him, paint him like a, a, a self-proclaimed white man. You know, it's madness, man. Yeah, the Lord would not give himself leprosy. You know what I'm saying? That's right. That's right. And and that's something else of people are, are realizing that the majority of the, the people in this world are brown, man. You know, but Obama, yeah. yep, and, and um. And, and, but these uh, TV shows and, uh, you know, all these, uh, the media, you know, 
all, all the images of these heroes. Guess who? Guess who they're they're putting, man? You know these these uh these captors, man. You know. Uh, these conquistadors, man. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Or yeah, what? Was, what did that girl tell the other Rockwell? Uh, these uh, colon no. these colonizers. Colonizers. Yeah. yeah. That's what it was. Yep. Shit. So. Uh, so they are Esau it tells the inhabitants with the second chapter man alright they can never be satisfied mm -hmm. there is death that's right alright second, second Thessalonians back in verse chapter 2 verse 5 remember ye not that when I was yet with you I told you these things and now you know what would hold it that, that he might be revealed in his time alright so it says for the mystery of iniquity do already work mm -hmm. only he who now let it, let it will let Right, and who's letting it happen is the Lord, as Daniel four and seventeen tells you that the Lord ruleth in the kingdom of men, and right. He giveth it to the bases of all men. All right, you know, you know, it also says uh, that He giveth uh, the earth unto the hand of the wicked. All right. right? Oh yeah, Job nine twenty four. Yeah. You know, so you know He's letting them, but it's just for that time, man, until that mystery be revealed. Go ahead. Right. It says um, until He be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Yeah, you got it, man. Kind of so, hey, wow. how is he being uh, consumed, man, through the spirit of his mouth? Which is what, man, the prophets. Mm -hmm. We out there revealing and exposing this devil, all the shameful spewing upon his glory, man, like the scriptures <laughs> tell you. Okay, back you up. This is Hosea chapter 6, verse 5. Therefore have I hewed them by, my, by the prophets. Mm -hmm. I have slain them by the words of my mouth. And thy judgments are as the light that goeth forth. See, we're at the end of this damn uh, uh, devil's uh, queendom, you know. Yeah. And he knows it. Why? Because the Lord, our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, he has his men out on the highways and byways doing what, man? Pushing out this word. Proclaiming the downfall of this man's kingdom. Showing him that he has an end. His end's coming very soon. You know, because he set the bounds that he should not pass, like in Job 14 and 5. All right? That's why they these elites, they know what's going on. That's why they got these dumbs, these deep underground military bunkers, to hide, man. To, to hide under the rocks, you see? Mm -hmm. But there's no place that you could hide, man. You can't hide from the Lord. And when the di when the day comes, you know, we're going to come get you, man. We're going to chain you up. Shit, they can't hide from, from regular men because the people that built the bunkers for them yeah. know where they're at, man. So guess what? When they run out of food, where where you think they're gonna come and knock it, man? <laughs> you know yeah. they can't they can't hide from those men who are but mortal. Mm. How much more the heavenly Father, man? Right. You know who see it all things, man. Yeah. Yes, so? Yeah. This is Luke eight and seventeen. It says, "For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest; neither anything hid that shall not be known and come come abroad." You know, and, and that's Esau Edom. Esau Esau Edom has the attitude that uh, what does it say uh? Who may see us, yeah. you know, uh, uh, hiding themselves behind, you know, bushes, you know, in darkness, doing things in darkness because they, you know, that, that's, that's the whole, you know, that uh, the whole thing, doing things in secret, you know, mm -hmm. but the Lord, hey, the Lord is, is, is uh, uh, um, right, they're doing those, uh, so like those uh, child sacrifices, mm -hmm. you know, uh, just scaring them, terrifying them to death and then killing them so they could uh, drink the adrenaline from their, from their, butt, sure, their, yeah. their, their, uh, their blood, man. Thinking that it makes them younger, you know, this, this shit is fucking madness, man. You know, and all that shit's gonna be revealed, man, and and they're gonna have to pay for it, man. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, because it's, 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 it's that time, man. Uh, it's, it's, so I got, have another one. It's the Second Ezra six and twenty seven. It says, "For evil shall mm. be put out, mm. and mm -hmm. deceit shall be quenched. As for faith, it shall flourish, and corruption shall be overcome. And the truth, which had been so long without fruit, shall be declared." And that's the times that we're in, man. The time where where now truth is starting to establish itself, and and lies and deceit is 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 ha are having no power, and that's how Esau Edom um uh, uh get gets his uh power from, so to speak. You know, lying, deceit. <laughs> his name is the devil. You know, <laughs> so all all his stuff is gonna be put out. It's gonna be exposed. You know. A lot of shit is already, you know, been put out about, you know, what you have last year, Epstein, you know. Right, right. Uh, people are, now people are talking about uh, human meat, you know, and, and certain uh, uh, foods, you know. Like the brother was going into the stocks, how it's unfair, you know. Everything is, is, is coming up, you know, and in all angles from us, from their own people, 
you know, their tongue should fall upon themselves, mm-hmm. you know, because it, it, it's, it's that time, man. It's that time to where, you know, the Lord is just showing how base this man really is, you know, and right. they, and they, he they, how he got everything is literally based off lies, you know. Every I was thinking of it, like the only reason Isa is 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 so up there is because of of uh, 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 tricks, lies, deceits. He's mm-hmm. not out. He's not up. And he's not on top because he played a fair game. Right. No, everything was a robbery, deceits, murder. You know, yeah. and if he plays fair, he knows he's gonna lose. Yeah, know? hell mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. That's how he got this land. When he first came to the uh, Americas, he didn't come declaring war. He claimed declaring peace, and and guess what? He broke every last peace treaty, man. You know, mm-hmm. hey, but now, now that the truth's coming out, man, our people are coming to the realization, uh, well, that spirit of um, the scriptures where it says, "Never trust thine enemy," is being more pushed, man. I mean, of course, mm-hmm. the two thirds they're never gonna get it, but the elect is waking up, man. You know, and that's pretty much the point, man. The elect is waking up. That that message is going out there to the four corners of the earth, man. You know, and more and more, the Lord's going to start, you know, getting Esau out of the way, getting ready for his destruction and, 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 and uh, bringing forth uh, uh, the, that righteous kingdom, man. All right. I got here in uh, Proverbs chapter four and verse 18. It says, but the path of the just is as the shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. So, uh, you know, every day, man, like it, it just keeps shining more and more, man, as, unto that perfect day, man. You know, so the Lord, he's showing himself uh, 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 more, you know, as the time goes by, man. You know, as the time goes by, man, th- that vibration of Yahweh Bashem Yahshai is going to be pushed. You know, righteousness is going to be pushed, man. And evil is going to be put out, man. You know? Hey, and, and that's part of the reason why he said this whole trick about fake news and all that. Because he's like, well, yeah. I can't stop the truth from coming out. So let me throw some confusion so whenever it does we'll be like hey, fake news where's your sources where's this where's that right you know because he knows that we're, we're in these times in Revelation 12 uh, for you know that he had a short time that's right you know? he knows right. this man yeah, it was in the CIA who set up uh, the term conspiracy theorists yeah mm-hmm. you know so they use that to uh, uh, yeah. to basically to discredit uh, these uh, uh, people that were uh, learning about their lives man calling them conspiracy theorists you know, it's all the agenda the CIA set up, man. Right, which he saw when he brings out his quote unquote, you know, studies. He he not he never quotes nobody, man. All he says is scientists say or reports say, studies say. But According he, to a new study from Harvard. You yeah, know, like, you know, they never show the evidence, they never show the data, but they know because they know uh, uh the majority of our people st- suffer from Stockholm syndrome, you know, worshiping their, their captor, they're gonna eat it up, man. You know, but this, but the truth is gonna stay truth forever, man. You know, and, and you, you know you can't hide it. All right. Um. Can, can you get that in uh in uh First Ezra? I believe it says the truth is always strong and dureth forevermore. Oh yeah, yeah. Can All I bring right. this one real quick? Go ahead, man. This is Jeremiah forty nine and seven. It says concerning Edom, thus saith the Lord of hosts: Is wisdom no more in Teman? Is counsel perish from the prudent? Is their wisdom vanished? And and that, and that's what's happening to Edom, man. All right, uh, you know his lies are being exposed. Mm. Everything that they glorified, uh, you know, about themselves is, is not working with no more. Everything's backfiring against them. You know, all all, all this whole, all everything they wanted to do against them to destroy uh, uh the nation of Israel, all right, is destroying their own people, man. You know, from the 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 you know the the, the drugs in their neighborhood, you know the the. You know, the femi- the feminist movement, all, all that, that 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 um destroyed our nation is destroying them, man. Yeah. You know? Deuteronomy thirty and ten, man. You know, the curses that were on us, they're falling on their people, man. You know? Uh, you okay, something? yeah, dude. I have two actually to back up. Oh, this is Psalm seven and, and I'll start at fourteen. Behold, he travaileth with iniquity. And hath conceived mischief and brought forth falsehood. This is Esau Edom. Mm. He made a pit and digged it and is fallen into the ditch which he made. Right, like um, the was it the, um, the fuck are they call the good old boys? These uh, so called patriots. Oh yeah, the proud boys. You know, yeah, the proud boys. Yeah, yeah they're uh, they're the ones uh, they, that are seeing that uh, these elites, man, they, they're they're pushing forth that deceit, man. Because what was this country established? You know, they said they when it was established, they said they had the, the right to bear arms, man. You know, and to, and to to fight against enemies, foreign and domestic. 
you know, and they're seeing that their their quote unquote liberties are getting taken away and, and shit, and they they're one of the main threats, man. You know, outside of uh, uh, of the profits, man. You know, so uh, um, you know, they, they they see him for being that deceiver, man. You know, but so right, keep going. Uh, can, you, can you read that? Yeah, yeah. This is Psalm seven and um, fourteen. Behold, he travaileth, travaileth with iniquity and hath conceived mischief and brought forth falsehood. He made a pit and digged it and has fallen into the ditch which he made. His mischief shall return upon his own head and his violent dealing shall come down upon his own pate. You know, so everything that he's playing, you know, to, to destroy uh, the, the Hebrew Israelites, hey man, it's going to fall upon him. Mm. All right. When, you know, in Psalms, when he said, race it, race it to the foundation thereof, man, Esau Edom is going to be the one family that's exterminated off the face of the earth, man. All right. The, the Most High hates these Edomites. This is Psalms 55 and 21. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords, man. Because this guy, uh, he, 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 he comes up to you like he's your friend. Like he's here to help you out and give you some benefits. But really, he's, he's looking to throw you in that pit, man, and take over. You know what I'm saying? Right. He's over here putting uh, chemtrails in the air. You know, or even with like the the, the medic, medical industry, you know, they it's, they say it's there to try to help you, to heal you, you know. But what are they? Dr their drugs are synthetic drugs, man. You know, the Lord said right. that that uh, He created medicines out of the earth, and He is that is wise will not abhor them. Right. Yeah. You know. So, but what? Because he he can't patent and make money off of it. He you know spends his money for his researchers and the scientists to make these synthetic drugs mm -hmm. that often have horrible ass uh side effects man you know and what did he put, puts them so they're sweet sweeter like but uh his oh, words sweet. sweeter than butter yeah oh this is gonna help this this and that but you know in his, in his hearts they were they were drawn swords man they out here you know they don't really care about the uh you know the common folks man you know yeah right. the, the, the joe Smo man you know they okay. they they already came out that they, they, they trying to exterminate people man you know well, yeah, I mean, you have Bill Gates uh, openly saying it, you know, with these uh, uh, vaccinations, mm -hmm. uh, we could reduce the population by 10 or 15 percent if we do a really good job. You know what I mean? <laughs> and that's that's Bill Gates of <laughs> hell right there, man. The damn devil yourself is himself. That's right. Uh, Margaret yeah. Sangri. Uh, oh, right. The, the, the CEO of uh, Planned Parenthood. Gun. She's, yeah. she's quoted for saying... Um, you know, uh, we don't want it to come out that our goal is to exterminate uh, the black people or something like that. Yeah. You know, and, and and what did they come out? What do they how do they promote Planned Parenthood? You know, that they're there to promote sex, promote healthy sex and, you know, pl uh, to plan your parenthood so you don't have it, you know, uh, uh, um, you know, at any old time or when you're really young or whatever. Yeah. You know, So-called you know, uh, accident. Yeah. But and, and they and they do the most abortions, man. Well. You know, I'm not sure on the numbers, but they play a a, a great part in uh in uh in abortions, man. Right, you what, know what they say the the, the most dangerous uh um, place for a, a a black boy or black babies in the womb. An Israelite, man. You know, an Israelite, because that, that that's that's where uh, there's a bunch of women that I believe the rate of homicide, uh, you know, is less than uh, uh abortions, man. Huh. Huh. I got that uh, this is uh, first Ezra four and thirty eight. It says, "As for truth, it endureth, and it is always strong; it liveth and conquereth forevermore." Right. The truth is the truth, man. You can't add nothing. You can't take nothing to it. A lie, you can make up any lie, man, and it, you know it's not gonna endure. It's not gonna make it true. Mm -hmm. No matter how many times you say it, how many times you repeat it, it's not gonna be true. Mm -hmm. All right. But the truth is always gonna stay. You know. And it's gonna it's gonna stay even after this kingdom get destroyed, man. Once they get revealed, huh? right? Just because Esau Edom labels it as fake news and all this, that doesn't take away that it's the truth, you know. People, it, it is what it is, you know. The elect with common sense are gonna recognize it, like mm -hmm. Yahweh Shai said, "My sheep hear my voice." All right, you know it says, "Uh, you know this truth, uh, uh the truth shall set you free, man." Yeah. Uh -huh. So yeah, keep going. No, uh, is there more to that? That that's cool. I got one here for you. 
is uh, the book of Isaiah chapter 47 and verse 1. It says, Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There, there is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Take the millstone and grind meal. Uncover thy locks. Make bare the leg. Uncover the thigh. Pass over the rivers, man. Mm. So Esau, Edom, you know, uh, ba uh, Mystery Babylon, Babylon the Great, all right? They're getting uncovered, man. They're making bare, man. Their secret parts are being are being made bare, man. Because here it is. All this time, the, the, the scriptures have been preached, you know, but ain't nobody, uh, uh, in all these churches, they've never read Malachi 1 and 4, you know, hmm. that the Lord had indignation against a whole body of people, a whole race of people called the Edomites. And in the New Testament Hebrews, that the that Esau found no place of repentance, though he sought uh, uh, for it with tears, you know. Mm -hmm. But the Christian said, if you repent, you know, if anybody repents, you can be saved. No, these are whole people that are excluded. The Lord said he created the wicked for the day of evil, man. So there's a wicked out here destined to be destroyed, man. And that's what the, what, what the elect... You know, and those that are going to stay behind are going to come to that realization, man. That truth is being pushed out there, man. All right. Um, verse 3, it says, Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yeah, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. So first, he's going to expose you. All right. He's going to uncover you. He's going to show your shame. Like the brother said, your shameful spewings. You're right. They're going to be shown. All right. And then... The end cometh, like we read in Thessalonians. All right, he shall come and not take vengeance and not meet you as a man, hey, because it is written that the Lord must reign. All right, so he bring down all authorities and all principalities, man. All right, because that everlasting kingdom is going to be ruled with who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, his real name being Yahweh Shai. Yeah. You know, over the whole earth, man. Yeah. Thank God. This is uh, Habakkuk two and sixteen. It says. That thou art filled with shame for glory, drink thou also, and let thy force can be uncovered. Mm. The cup of Yahweh's right hand shall be turned unto thee, and shameful spewing shall be on thy glory. Perfect. And, and, and that's what we're seeing, man. Now that the things they gloried in is, is starting to become shameful. Mm. You know, like back then they used to what take take pictures uh when they used to hang us, right? You know, now now if they do that, what people look down on them, man. People so, you condemn them for it. Right, those some postcards. To each other, you know, right. with, pe pe people don't like that. Like they, you know, now that that what they look that type of glory now it turned one to shame, you know, and everything else, man. Them being exposed for being uh, uh, pedophiles, you know, Epstein, uh, all the rich, you know, elites, the cardinals of the Catholic Church, them, mm -hmm. them as well, you know, all that is coming to the light. Yeah, because mm -hmm. when they do it in darkness, it's all yeah, you know. But mm -hmm. once they get exposed, they're like, shit, yeah, exactly. You know? Like, damn. Just to add on to the list, uh, Joe Biden's uh, son, you know, they got got his laptop filled with uh, child pornography, man. You know? <clears throat> See, so all, all, he, he, he's just getting exposed on all levels, man. Mm -hmm. You know? And, and at, the end of the, at the end of the day, everybody's going to know. Because like it says in uh, Isaiah 16, everybody's going to be saying, is this the man who did, you know? You know, this is this is the devil. Like, damn, everybody's gonna be made uh, made known that he, who he really is. He tried so hard to run away from it, his name and calling himself uh, white and all these other, you know, <laughs> bywords and all that. But at the end of the day, everybody's gonna know who Esau Edom is, man. Right. Yeah. Okay, I got one real quick. This is Nahum chapter three. I'll start at one. Woe to the bloody city! It is full of lies and robbery. The prey the 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 prey departeth not. The noise of a whip and the noise of the rattling of the wheels and of the prancing horses and of the jumping chariots. The horsemen lifted up both the bright sword and the glittering spear. And there is a multitude of slain and a great number of carcasses. And there is none end of their corpses. corpse. They stumble upon their corpses because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the well-favored harlot, the mistress of witchcrafts that selleth nations through her whoredoms and families through her witchcrafts. Behold, I am against thee, saith the Lord of hosts, and I will discover thy skirts upon thy face, and I will show the nations thy nakedness and the kingdoms thy shame. So everyone's mm. going to know who you really are, man, what you're really about, man. And it's being shown that you're a damn devil, man.
All right, the basis of all men, you're the plague of the earth, man. And, and every every eye is going to look at you narrowly, man. Like, who the fuck is this guy? All right? And they're going to beat your ass in the kingdom, man. All right? You best believe we're going to do it, too. That's right. That's right, man. You know? You know what do? And with that, we hope this lesson... You got some no, that's so you got it, brother. Uh, with that, we hope this lesson was uh, edifying. Again, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Chakwadash, the bonus to the apostles and others, a great millstone who rule well and who taught us this truth. And salutations to all the Akim pushing this word in truth and in sincerity with charity. Shalom, Wa Abad Babal. Don't take that chip, which is the mark of the beast. Uh -huh. Revelation 13. Yes.